How's it going, YouTube? Chris here, my own theater. Got a brand new video for you today. I hope everybody's having a good day off on this Labor Day and sitting back and relaxing and spending time with your family. That's what I've been doing all morning. Uh, but just want to take a little break and come in here and shoot this video. I get a lot of questions about how did I attach my screen uh, to my, my cabinet area, my front area, uh, as far as hinges go. And uh, I want to cover that in this video. I wish I would have took a lot of pictures of the process, but I was, you know, working by myself, just trying to get the thing up. So I only got a couple of pictures of actually the screen propped up while I was installing it. So I'll try to get those pictures incorporated. Uh, really, it's just like one or two, and they're basically the same anyway. And, but I will show how it's attached up there now, and we'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see in here. It's hard to see in the dark up here where my hinges are at, but as you can see, these are, it's just a basic, like you would put a, on a gate outside uh, of, your, of your house, around your fence or something like that. It's, it's just a heavy duty hinge. And uh, I mean, you look at my screws and you wouldn't think that it's, uh, that they're attached in there good, but I'm telling you, you cannot move it. I, I basically threaded the hole and put the screws in there. I mean, it, it's not going anywhere. And this screen has been open, I, I, I can't tell you how many times, a lot. So that's basically how I did. I just got three hinges and I uh, got one there, which is, this is the right side. And I got one on the, middle and one on the left side. So I only got three hinges and I've had this screen open, closed. Uh, I've had it propped open. I'm, I've run it up and down with, with my actuators uh, for quite a few few months now. And uh, them screws is tight. It ain't going nowhere. And if you're wondering what this line is right here, turn my flashlight off. That's where it's actually, when the screen goes up, it's actually hitting this right here. I tried to, thought I had a gap far enough to where it wouldn't uh, hit, but uh, it's hitting. But you can't really see that from the floor, so it's not really a big issue. You just messed up the velvet there. But uh, basically, this is what it looks like from the top. And uh, I just got two pieces of wood down in here. I'm going to raise the screen so we can look in there. I don't know if you can see further down. That don't help none, but you got one in the middle and you got one on the end down there. But yeah, that's what it looks like from the top, screwed in, screwed into that aluminum. Those are long screws, and like I said, they're not they're not going anywhere. So that's what it looks like from the top. We'll open this screen and we'll be back here in just a second. All right, now we got the screen open. As you can see, the hinges is just mounted to this. Uh, piece of wood here and this wood screwed into two by fours through the sheet rock. Those are long screws. These are long screws. And I don't know if I can get up here. It's hard to see how, how the hinge is. So when it's closed, it's at a kind of at a 90 degree angle. And that's kind of the way I did it. So when it opened up, just the best way to do it I, that I found. Uh, so there you go. See, we got the type of hinge that it is. I don't know if you can see that on there. I just picked it up from uh, Lowe's. So you got that one, you got one there, and you got one at that end down there. And that's that's basically how I attach it, guys. And then, you know, like I say, uh, here's my system here. I still got the hide wires and stuff. I hadn't done it. I've been relaxing, guys. So there you go. It's got a piece of wood there, mounted there. And it's mounted in there really good. Long screws. Ain't going nowhere. And then I got this piece of metal that my buddy cut for it worked for me. Yeah, I got a bunch of washers in there. But this right here, this piece of metal goes in this channel. So that piece of metal goes back way back up in here, as far as it'll go. So there you go. Sturdy, ain't going nowhere. So there we go. That's, uh, I hope I answered everybody's question. I mean, I, 
I mean, the picture that I was going to show, guys, it was just nothing but my screen. Let me turn this camera around. Basically, the picture I was going to show was just a screen mounted. I had it propped up there in, in place, and then I put a, a level on the top of it to make sure the screen was level, and I, I attached the one in the center first and then attached the one on either end. Now, I did have to, once I got it up, I had it off center a little bit, so then my wife came back and helped me center it up, so I had actually had to reattach it. So, but that's how I did it. I hope I explained everything. Like I said, I didn't go into any depth as far as my pictures and when I was putting it up. Probably should have, but you know, basically it's kind of self-explanatory how I did it. And uh, man, I'm free to answer any questions anybody has. Hey, put a, put a question in the comments. My email address is always in the description. And also you can follow me on Instagram. You can hit me up on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I'm blown to a bunch of Facebook groups. Uh, so, yeah, hey, hit me up on there. And uh, like I say, guys, man, trying to get the channel built. But this is a question that I get asked a lot. So I hope I answered the question on how I've done it. And that's how I did it. So hope everybody has a, a rest of a good weekend. And, uh, man, we'll see you again.